Welcome back, digital pilots and thrill seekers. Today I'm jumping into the cockpit of the F-18 in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 Sim Update 2 Beta. That's the latest test version for those who like their acronyms spelled out. But that's not all. I'll also show you how to disable resizable bar, base address register, using NVIDIA Profile Inspector and explain how this tweak can help smooth out performance if you're experiencing stutters or odd frame drops. Before you accuse me of bringing a mod bazooka to a vanilla knife fight, let me clear the air. I've gone full minimalist. No mods, safe mode enabled, and my community folder is emptier than my motivation on a Monday. I even reset my NVIDIA control panel to factory defaults, the nuclear option. If there's a gremlin left, it's hiding better than my high school GPA. Let's talk settings. I switched from deep learning super sampling DLSS quality mode to deep learning anti-aliasing DLAA. Why? I wanted to see if trading a few frames for sharper visuals would finally deliver that as real as it gets feeling. The rest of my graphics settings are a carefully chosen mix of ultra, high, medium and off. Each slider adjusted like a Harvard application essay. I'm chasing the sweet spot. Maximum visuals, minimum frame drops. With everything stripped back and tuned up, I took off over my hometown. Ready for either digital glory or a PowerPoint presentation at Mach 1. What happened next was nothing short of miraculous. I blasted around my local lake at supersonic speeds, expecting the simulator to turn into a slideshow, but no lag, no stutters, just smooth, uninterrupted flight. The FA-18 sliced through the sky like a scalpel through creme brulee. My jaw dropped so hard I nearly bit my flight stick. Honestly, it's starting to look like the real cause of those infamous stutters isn't my hardware. Shout out to the RTX 4090 graphics card and Intel Core i9 processor. But rather the mods, or maybe even the world updates. Go full monk mode, and suddenly the simulator is as smooth as a championship debate team. Elegant, relentless, and shockingly effective. So what's the takeaway here? Sometimes the best way to cure a stutter fest isn't to throw more mods at it or sacrifice a goat to the frame-rate gods. It's to strip everything back and let your simulator breathe like it just got out of a yoga retreat. Don't get me wrong, mods and world updates are fantastic, like adding extra toppings to your pizza, but too many. And suddenly, you're eating a casserole with a crust. Sometimes, the real culprit isn't your hardware. Shout out again to my RTX 4090 and Intel Core i9 Flex but all the digital baggage you've been dragging along like a suitcase with a broken wheel. So, if you've had your own redemption arc in safe mode, or you're still out there searching for that mythical, stutter-free flight, like Indiana Jones hunting for lost frames, drop your story in the comments below. Did disabling resizable bar, base address register, finally set your SIM free? Or did you find another secret soul? DLAA uses NVIDIA's AI to deliver super sharp visuals at native resolution, smoothing out jagged edges for a crisp, artifact-free image. While it doesn't boost frame rates, like deep learning super sampling, DLSS, it avoids the blurry cockpit text and shimmering lines some users report with other modes. On my setup, DLAA gave me a noticeably cleaner picture-perfect for spotting those tiny runway lights at dusk. Just don't expect a performance miracle. DLAA is about fidelity, not extra frames. The key to my settings was balance. High clouds for that dramatic sky. High terrain for detailed landscapes. Ultra shadows to keep things smooth and off for features you'll never notice at Mark 1. Research and community benchmarks show that cranking every setting to ultra can tank your FPS, especially in busy areas or with lots of AI traffic. By selectively dialing back less noticeable settings, you can keep visuals stunning without turning your sim into a slideshow. 
For example, lowering object level of detail, LOD, from 200 to 145, can save up to 10% performance with minimal visual loss. Sometimes, less is more. Especially when more means three layers of conflicting settings. I reset my NVIDIA control panel to factory defaults, only changing power management mode to prefer maximum performance for consistent GPU boost. Over-tweaking can cause instability, or even reduce performance, especially with features like resizable bar, base address register, that aren't always optimized for every game. With this setup, I was consistently getting over 140 frames per second, and my frame time stayed under 15 milliseconds. Even during low passes and heavy weather, that's smoother than a freshly waxed runway and well above the 60 FPS gold standard for flight sims. Community benchmarks confirm that with a high-end GPU like the RTX 4090 and a modern processor, you can break 120 frames per second at 1440p or higher if you optimize settings and avoid unnecessary extras. So, with the right mix of settings and a bit of restraint, you can have both jaw-dropping visuals and buttery smooth performance. No more choosing between a slideshow and a pixelated mess. And now, as we taxi toward the end of this video, let me share one last secret weapon in my arsenals. A tweak so potent, it's practically the Occam's razor of flight sim troubleshooting, disabling resizable bar base address register using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. After meticulously calibrating my graphics settings, think NASA Mission Control, but with more snacks, I dove into NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This free utility is like the Rosetta Stone for GPU enthusiasts, unlocking arcane driver settings mere mortals rarely dare to touch. Deep in the driver profile settings, I located resizable bar support and, with the decisiveness of a Harvard debate champion, set it to disabled. Click save, reboot and voila, no PhD required. But why disable it, you ask? While resizable bar theoretically allows your CPU to access all your GPU's VRAM for potential performance gains, a tantalizing prospect in practice, especially in complex titles like flight simulators, it can induce more micro stutters and erratic frame times than a caffeinated squirrel. After flipping the switch, my sim experience became so smooth, it was practically the epitome of computational elegance. No more random hitches as I screamed low over the digital landscape, just unadulterated, uninterrupted velocity. So, if your sim is jitterier than a freshman at their first Harvard midterm, try disabling resizable bar in NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Sometimes the path to buttery smooth performance is paved not with experimental features, but with a judicious application of restraint and a dash of technical savoir-faire. Subscribe for more flight sim shenanigans, and remember, in the world of flight simulation, sometimes you have to Marie Kondo your settings. If it doesn't spark joy or smooth frames, toss it out. Go back to basics. Break that sound barrier and may your frame times be low, your spirits high, and your afterburners always lit. See you in the skies.